Hi, Taurus. Welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm going to be doing a reading for you. All right. So in today's reading, Taurus, for you, we do have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Two of Wands. And we have the Six of Pentacles, okay? So overall, what I'm seeing from your reading, from your energy currently, I feel like you're in a space where you're wanting more for yourself. You're wanting to explore different avenues, different things. Um, you're wanting to put yourself out there. You're wanting to try new things. You may even want to, you could have like a business idea that you're wanting to explore. Maybe you want to go traveling, take a trip. Maybe you even want to, um, I just feel like this is mainly about yourself, but it also involves some type of cooperation with you being able to open up to different avenues. And that may include opening up to people. And I feel like that's a struggle for you right now. Okay. I'm saying that because of the four of pentacles. So you, you hold yourself, you, you know, you hold yourself, you're in a place where you do have really good self-talk. You're very confident. You're very independent, but based off of past experiences, you could have really closed in the inner parts of yourself, like your dreams, your wants, your needs, your desires of life. And you're wanting to really go after that but it's going to take some help. All right. Hold on one second, guys. All right. Sorry about that, Taurus. Sorry about that disruption. But yeah, I feel like you're starting to want more from, from, for, from your life or just experiences or wanting to do more. I also see with the four of pentacles, you are holding on to, you kind of, you kind of like um, in a way of protection, you could be hiding away or storing away who you truly are, like deep down inside. Like maybe if you're a mom or you're, you're a dad, who your children get to see. If you're in a relationship, who your significant other gets to see, who you, the, your best friend in your life gets to see, who your you know, the people that you trust get to see, but there's not a lot of people that you trust in your life. Now, now that you're wanting more, now that you're wanting to explore more, maybe even meet new people, get to know more people, network, um, expound on just your community, it's going to take some opening up. And I feel like that's an issue for you right now. There's some kind of deep rooted things that happened from the past that you could have already done some healing on, but maybe they need to be targeted more or just released it's becoming like an issue. Now, it's not like becoming an issue where like, oh, you know, if people want to get to know Taurus, Taurus is closed off. Maybe, but that's not really what I'm seeing. I see that you have a hard time with the Six of Pentacles accepting help from others or accepting. I feel like when people want to come and just offer a hand in any way that they can help the Taurus, okay? Because Taurus, you are very self-sufficient, okay? You just, that's just who you are. And you also are someone who, when you do things, you do it the best. And that is like hard sometimes to accept help from people because it's like, they're not going to do it like me, or, you know, maybe it's going to trigger me in some way because I don't like relying on people. I don't like depending on people. So it can be really hard for you, but it's part of just what's meant to happen right now for you. So I feel like this is becoming an issue because you are getting these inklings or you're getting like these little downloads or these thoughts or these dreams, these visions of just having more. How would Taurus look if they were to go venture out and do, do this? How would Taurus look if they were to travel here? How would Taurus look if they moved? How would Taurus look if they, you know, whatever. Some of you guys are going to be moving soon, but it's like, are you even open to meeting your neighbors? Are you open to meeting your significant other's friends? Are you open to meeting their family? You have maybe trust issues. I hate to use the word issues. I don't like that. You have a problem with trusting and you also have some things from your past that you have not re released that also makes you think a certain way. So when you're thinking about these new things that you're envisioning now, you're manifesting now that are going to come in fruition, into fruition for you, 
Will you be able to accept the new in your life? Those of you who are single, this may be your season of love. Are you able to accept new love if a really good person came in? Those of you who are ready to, you know, um, you're a good friend, so you deserve good friendships around you. If a new friend came through, that's a good person. Would you be able to be open with this new friend? You know, if there's a stepping stone with your family where you guys are going to be able to move towards a better and more positive um, connection, are you able to really give yourself or are you just only operating over this facade? And not saying that my Tauruses are fake, but you're being fake in a way that you're not even allowing yourself to just show all the best and beautiful qualities of you because you, what have what you've learned from your past is that people have taken those most vulnerable moments of you when you were childlike, like inner child energy. So I'm getting like childhood trauma as well, but your inner child where you're so open, you're so trusting, you're so loving, you're so happy. People have put a cloud over that and hurt you. And now you're in a place where you're about to embark on the things that you've been desiring, but it also is coming by a way of, um, people reaching out to you. And that may be hard for you to say, okay, thank you. I'll take what you're giving. You know, it's hard for you to do that. Six of pentacles. What's interesting about life is that you'll ask for something, right? You may ask for apples. You're like, man, I'm so hungry. I need, I need apples. I need like a collection of apples and how sometimes we think, we think like, oh, the apples will, well, I'll just come across a barrel of apples, but it's like, no, maybe you'll come across a seed, you know? And that seed has to be planted and grown to get exactly what you want. So you're experiencing that where you want certain things, but it's coming through an avenue that you're not comfortable with. Damn, I'm not a farmer. I don't know how to plant. I don't know, you know, what soil is the best. I don't know. I'm not someone who maybe likes to go outside every day and check on my plants, you know? It's, but you're earth sign, so you're kind of different. But it's like that. It's like, I don't know. I don't feel comfortable taking these steps to get what I want, but it's coming to you through an avenue of like people reaching out to you, giving to you. I think you're, you're hard to accept. Okay. What's on the bottom of the deck? We have the ace of cups. Okay. What's under that? Ace of pentacles. You have very solid new foundations coming in your life. New friends that are going to be solid. They're not fleeting. They're not here just, you know, for a moment. They're here to plant a seed and grow with you and, you know, will be in your life longer than you think, but it's just hard to accept the newness of it all. You have to be open with your heart. You have to be trusting with that ace of pentacles. What's under that? The hermit. People may tell you all the time, like, oh, wow, you don't come out or you don't reach out or you're just very to yourself. It's hard to read you, you know, and that can be purposeful. It's not like you're just this mysterious girl or guy. You, you are, but you have so much personality that's meant to be shared, but you're afraid of showing that because you feel like people will turn that around in a negative in some way, and you have to kind of change that mindset. So let's go ahead and clarify this, because I feel like you're about to get exactly what you want, but not through yourself, because you're so self-sufficient, you're so independent, and you're, you know, you can do it, but it's coming very quickly but it's coming through outreach. Like someone is donating, someone is helping, someone is giving you money, someone's paying for your trip, someone is saying, come stay with me. And it's very hard to trust that process. You're like, mm, that's too much dependency, okay? Four of pentacles for my Taurus, four, okay. Mm, coming out so fast, Knight of wands, okay? This is what you do, Taurus. You will go into a situation with good intentions, by the way, not bad intentions. You'll go into a situation, but you also are a flaker. You're like the someone. You're like the. You're like the person who does like um. What is it called? Is it like Scottish or is it Irish? What is it called, guys? I don't want to sound ignorant, but you know, it's like Irish goodbye, where like you just leave. <laughs> like you could go meet a new. Say you can invite to a party. You might like leave the party and. People, you had great relationships with everybody during that party, great connections. You're vibing, you're having fun. People are complimenting your look. I love your haircut. I love your outfit. I love your hairstyle, girl. I love your nails, blah, blah. You're having good, positive things, but your trust is makes you just kind of disappear, disappear 
like that or vanish because of those deep rooted experiences from the past. Okay. Some of you guys could have done that recently. Okay. Some of you guys could have done that recently, like with a love connection, two of cups. Now what's interesting is that things could have been going very well, but you could have psyched yourself out to think, now, maybe this person's trying to play me, or maybe they're not who they say they are, or I just don't trust it, so I'm going to flake. I'm going to leave early. I'm going to bounce. I'm going to, you know, maybe even call them out about something, you know? You did something where it's like, that's not my true intention, but I also am very protective. So maybe it's kind of like this card. We have the Great Danes or we have like the Rottweilers or maybe in the Pit Bulls, like they're going to cause a ruckus, even if it's not a threat. You ever had a friend who had like a Pit Bull or like a, a, a very like guard dog energy and they start getting crazy and then they're trying to tell you like, no, they're friendly. Don't worry, they're friendly. But it's like, OK, but why are they acting like that? <laughs> because they've been taught to guard. They've been taught to guard. They've been taught anything can be a threat. Don't ever get too comfortable. And I think that's your energy with the Knight of Wands. Okay, let's see. Yeah, Eight of Swords. This is you, Eight of Swords. You have yourself in a bind here. You put yourself in a bind a lot of times where you, I feel like, okay, let me ask you and not tell you, right? Have you ever did dealt with a situation that maybe got too chaotic, too quick, and you did feel um, you did you did feel threatened in some way, or you felt triggered in some way. But maybe when you reflect on it, you're like, "Damn, I did a lot." You know, it's like the the night the the, the day after, and you're like, "Damn, Taurus, you kind of did a lot." But at the same time, in that moment that it happened, you felt very triggered. That's the Eight of Swords. It's um, self sabotage sometimes towards ourselves, where it's like, "Okay, yes." I could have felt threatened or triggered, but also is that this person's intention? So six of pentacles, we're not there yet, but you do have an outreach. Someone is reaching out towards you, Taurus, that really wants to make your desires come true. They believe in it. They're excited for you. They're like smiling. They're so, there's not ill will and they want to help. And you have to think about that. Like, hmm, if I feel triggered, is it because... I don't trust this person or is it because I don't trust just people period, you know, reflection, that's the reflective period. Okay. Two of wands. There's something that you want to do. Someone's going to hand this to you on a platter. It's not meant to, um, it's not meant to deceive you. I think that's the problem. You dealt with a lot of decide, like people who deceive, betray, play games, manipulate, you know, mind F, mind F-U-C-K. That's not what this is. But let's see, what's the two of wands? Because exactly what you're desiring is coming towards you. Let's see what this is about. Two of wands. Nine of swords. You're in your head about this. You really want to like have more friends or you may want to like network for work or for business or you want to travel somewhere and like be in a certain experience that makes you have to talk to people, engage, build relationships, build foundations. There's something that you really want to do. You, you look it up all the time on your phone. You're like always going back to that Instagram page. You're always going back to that, like that website and you're like looking it up. It's like really like it's, it's it gets you excited. It, it makes you feel it makes you feel comfortable. It makes you feel at home, but you overthink this quite a bit. The star, it could be very healing for you at the same time too, or it's very inspiring. You're like, oh, I want to do this so bad. Hmm. Temperance. So I'm getting like a spa energy. So some of you guys could be going like on a resort. Maybe it's a girl's trip or a boy's trip, which already sounds scary because it's like, oh, those are supposed to be drama filled, you know? People are, people, I don't know, trips with, with friends sometimes can feel like drama, but also it is what you make it, you know? Um, also, this could be like a spa thing, spa retreat or some sort, but maybe you're going to have to speak to people, get to know people because temperance in the star card came out. So it gives like water, spa, ocean. Hmm. It makes you feel like really positive. Also, 
We have here the um, six of wands. So there's also something about like good reputation, like whatever this is or whoever this person is, they have a good reputation. You could speak to other people. If it's like a spa or like a, a trip, really good reviews. If it's like a group or networking event, really good reviews. You could be looking up reviews quite a bit, like on YouTube or like on Instagram or TikTok. You're looking up reviews. You're seeing really positive things, but something's still clouding your, your judgment where you're feeling like maybe I'm not seeing something that's like dangerous or that's a threat or that will trigger me. So you're already kind of like in this energy where you're expecting the worst. Hmm. One more card. Ten of Cups. Really great community, whatever this is, but you don't trust it. I mean, I get I guess I get that, but it's I'm trying to see what the threat is here, but I don't really see a threat or a trigger. But I feel like maybe just, you know, sometimes you just wonder if you're missing something. But if you're if you're researching so much and you can't find something bad, it's like, are you the one that's looking for something bad in it? I don't know. It's a really loving community, really great group of friends coming towards you or a great networking event or great job or great resort or great travels or even this person is just really out of love. But something just kind of scares you a little bit, something you can't feel well rested on. Okay. All right, Six of Pentacles shows me that this is going to be handed to you. It's going to be free or it's going to be donated to you or someone's just going to do it for you because either they care about you or they just really want you to come or they just really feel like you would you would gain from ex this experience. So they're just going to hand it to you. Now, in your perfect world, you may feel like, oh, I'll just do it myself. But it's being given to you right now for a reason. There's like a lesson from this, but also... This is like speeding up the process for you. What's the six of pentacles? All right, so will of fortune, it was kind of like faded or this is just meant to happen. This is also good karma coming in for you. Good luck. So if someone wants to buy you something or pay your way, this is your good karma coming in because you've done this for people in the past, okay? Okay. It's also, you're very excited about this, but something just triggers you where you're scared to take a helping hand. You're like, oh my God, I just can't do it. Let's see what else is here. Nine of Pentacles, because you're so independent. You're so independent. You, you work really hard. So you're like, if I continue to work hard, I can do this myself. It's not a big deal. But why work hard when you don't have to? And it's not a negative energy. And it's also your good karma coming in. You know what I'm saying? But there's something about you. You're so you're so independent. You're kind of like in stuck in this judgment area where it's like, okay, either I can decide to or I can decide not to. And you're like holding back quite a bit, the strength card. I feel like if you don't take what's being offered, you will regret it because the only reason you'll regret it is because you'll see that, oh, this was actually going to be a positive experience for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like also, I feel like you deserve this. You're a good person. You're a good friend. You're a good sister. You're a good brother. You're a good daughter. You're a good um, son. You're a good mom. You're a good dad. You're a good boyfriend. You're a good girlfriend. You're a good wife. You're a good husband. You are a good person. Maybe it's time to experience all that life has to offer without being held back by your fears from what has happened in the past. There's a new there's a new wave coming in for you, but you have to be open to it. So sometimes we have to look at within ourselves and say, damn, am I just scared because of what I went through or am I scared because there's an actual threat presenting itself? You have new energy coming in, new solid friendships, new solid relationship happening for you a new solid job happening for you, new networking happening for you. That's solid. It's not fleeting. It's here to stay. Something that you could build on that's going to get better as time goes. And also your heart, you can trust with your heart, your emotional self, but it's hard because of the things that have happened in the past. And I understand that, but I don't think that you should just shy away from this opportunity. It seems really fun or positive. It feels like you know, you'll be missing out if you just let this one ride on by.
It's like you're skipping the waiting process and going straight for what you want. A wish is falling in your lap. It's just hard for you to trust, which I understand, okay? All right, so what I'm going to do is get the last words for this situation, Taurus, and then I'm going to lean into your extended reading. And your extended, I'm going to talk about um, your love life in the month of March. So if you want to know about that, definitely follow me to the extended. The link will be in the description box down below. I will pull the cards that I'll be expounding on and extended so that you guys can see. But first, let's get your last words. Last words for my Tauruses dealing with the situation. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have moving on. So moving on from the things that have burdened you, hurt you, traumatized you from your past. It's time to move on. There's more to life than that. And it's time to just walk into new experiences, meet new people, all of that. Okay. Let's see what's up. For you, we have vacation. So some of you guys are going on a little vacay, but there's something very like scary about maybe going on vacation with your man or your woman. Maybe because it's like, uh, is everything going to fall apart during this vacation or after? You know, like I just want this to be solid and you should just give it a chance. Don't just, don't put the negative thoughts behind it. Enjoy yourself. You deserve that. So some of you guys are going on vacation, vacation, maybe a girl's trip, boat, bro's trip. And it's really meaningful experience, part of this connection that you're solidifying or building on, okay? All right, we have March. So March is coming up, could be a very significant month for you. March Pisces or an Aries could be very significant. We have walk away. So walking away from things that didn't serve you, but walking into new things that will serve you well. All right, we have you left something behind, pushing you away. We have very um, unbalanced and one-sided. You're used to those type of connections, but I promise you that's not what this is. We have hiding my feelings. Yes, hiding your feelings, hiding your true self, hiding you know, your love, hiding so much because you just want to protect. Um, what else do we have here? April, Aries, or Taurus. Okay, could be very significant. You could be an April Taurus. We have sexy haircut or hairstyle. We have movie night, Netflix, and chill. So this reading is overlapping into the love reading that I'm about to do for you guys, obviously. Um, I need more attention. We have great P word, great D word coming out as well. All right. We have threesome, which could be like just, you know, maybe <laughs> this could be like third party crap. This could be an actual threesome that maybe is happening for you if you are sexually explorative and just wanting to have some fun. This could just talk about um, a third walking into your friendship and being accepting of this person other than just you and your best friend, okay? We have happy birthday. So maybe an Aquarius or a Pisces could be significant to you. Maybe you're planning for your birthday, okay? We have November, Scorpio or Sagittarius. November could be very significant. We have age difference, Scorpio, you make me nervous, breakup, marijuana, <laughs> sorry, so many guys, they just kind of fell out. We have balanced relationship coming into your life, bisexual for those of you who are bi, um, and then we have Aquarius energy as well. All right. So let's go ahead and pull the cards for your extended before we go to your extended. Let's see what's going on in your love life for March. What is Taurus's love life looking like? Give me some cards for Taurus's love life in the month of March. What is Taurus's love life looking like in the month of March?
Oh my God, can y'all hear my stomach? Probably not. Okay. <laughs> All right, we have the tower. So there's a big shakedown going on in your love life in the month of March. It really does center around you being very closed off. This is the card that wanted to come out. I just shuffled. It's the first card coming out again. This came out in your reading just now. It's coming out in your love life. You are very guarded. You're very closed off towards this lover, whether they're your current lover or your new lover. It's a closed off energy. We have the five of wands. So there's like a little bit of discourse because of this. You know, it's like maybe someone wants to get to know you better. They really want to love you more. They want to be more open between you two. And it's hard to open up, okay? Okay. But we do have the justice. So things are being figured out in a fair manner between you and this person in March where I don't see you guys dissipating or moving on from each other. I see things being worked out, but uh, there's a big, big, big significance on tourists opening up a little bit more where they will feel comfortable and learning when it's safe to just be you and that people really love you Taurus, for you, honestly. People love Taurus for the, for Taurus. You know, you don't have to hide or conceal certain parts of you. We love the goofy side of you. We love the funny side. We love the, the emotional side. We love the fun side. We love the silly side. We love the nerdy side. We love all parts of you, okay? So we're going to be talking about this in your extended about what's going to go down between you and your lover in March or whoever your love interest is. If you want to follow me there, the link will be the first one in the description box down below. I love you guys so much, Taurus, and I will see you guys in the next one. All right. Be well.